Damn, what the so, fuck? Honestly, we can make some new content soon, today, tomorrow. This ain't, this one is not like the other ones, man. Push over, nigga. This one's not like the other ones. Push the fuck over. It's your boy, Bobby, we'll make it here. In this video, man. Y'all know what we doing, man. It's the really recap. This time, I got my guys with me. Lulu in the back, you know what I mean? That boy Lulu working. Yo, he works overtime, bro. He doesn't stop. Bro, how'd your year start off, bro? How'd your year start off, bro? Shitty. Ooh. Yo, my new year's is shitty as fuck. <laughs> bro, I can't lie, like. It was a very It was probably rough. one of the worst days, top top five worst days, but I'm not gonna say it. New Year's, the, like, the exact day? Yeah, the whole process of New Year's. New Year's Eve to New Year's, that shit was whack, bro. And then my birthday hit. And after that, bro, fifth grade was the last time I went to DR. Then I went in August. And then Jerry, Jerry, my birthday. And it was a blast, bro. Like, I had a blast. And after that, I kind of just locked in with myself, bro. Went to school. Locked in with school. I started posting again, like, in January, February. January, February. I started posting in February. A month passed. I started posting again. And after that, I posted, like, almost every day. <coughs> Posted every week until school ended. And after school ended, I took like a month break and the whole summer I was just going off, bro. Like literally I hit 2K in January, February, March, April, like late April or May. Cause I, oh, it was in, when we came to New York. Yeah. Last time we came to New York, I hit 2K. I hit 2K like May, like basically May, some shit like that. And then yeah, bro, I just took off with my photography, bro. I started taking my photography serious in March. Shot for Bobby Smurda, La Tyler, Conscience, Hyper Sounds, Dougie B, fucking 4 1, Kyle Rich and Carter, Tata, uh, J Dog Geek, the niggas from Power, Michael, Where's 22, and his white boyfriend. I shot a lot of celebrities, bro. I can't lie this year. And they were all bookings. People wow. booked me to shoot them. It wasn't like I just showed up. Oh, I want to take a picture of them. Nah, like it was, I was booked. There's a lot more, but I'm not really going to depth because this is his video. That was my little intro to it, man. If you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. And subscribe to my channel, official and okay channel as well. Lulu's Instagram and SoundCloud. No, I don't use SoundCloud no more. But yeah. Nigga <laughs> said, I don't even use SoundCloud no more. <laughs> I think 2023 for me, I do a lot. <laughs> I think I put a lot of people in front of me. And then it's not it's not bad. But I think I'm such a people's person that for the last I don't know, you know, number of days, I I think I applied certain engine energy to other things that I could have been using for like uh for the better. Uh, what I'm very grateful for this year, I took camera really serious this year. This was my first year actually taking the camera and editing skills. Like, I'm like, okay, let me fo let me hone in on this. I'm grateful to, you know, have other contacts from People's Magazines, uh, Disney Plus, Paramount Plus. Uh, some of the artists I work with this year, I'm really grateful for is Why To Fly and the whole NLK Cypher. This is my home base. This is my second family here, Tag Up Music. Um, Treat yourself as if you're in the future as well. You're this age now, right? Think about if you're 28, 30, what would you say to yourself now? That's how I work and I program. I'll leave y'all to Jay, man. I gotta export this video right now. Back to work he goes. And then there was me, guys. Jay the ball, guys. How we started off, bro? We started off, my year, bro, I'm not gonna lie, I started off pretty rough, like, personally, I'm not, not talking about YouTube-wise, bro. When I talk about, when I say right off the bat, bro, shit got bad, like, right, I'm talking about right off the bat. I'm not gonna go into detail, bro, but, like, right off the bat, January 1st, bro, shit just got, like, crazy, nigga. You know what? I love it by myself, bro. I turned that, everything that was going on in my life, I turned it into a positive, bro, and I went fucking crazy, bro, on YouTube, bro. I told myself, I was like, yo, listen, bro, I'm not about to make no excuses, bro. Like, yeah, bro, I'm, I'm going through tough times, bro, but, like, I feel like this is where I really got to show that I'm actually, like, serious about this shit, bro. So I, I remember calling Eli, bro, the first day of January, I was like, yo, bro, like, Nigga, I don't care. Like, my, I'm I'm down right now, bro. But nigga, we about to be up. Nigga, we about to film. We about to go and make these videos. Nigga, we about to make these bangers, bro. That's exactly what we did, bro. If I go back on my channel, bro, we to start off the year. We started off really good, bro. We was going out like every day, bro. Me and him, Ricky, bro. Me and Ricky, bro. We, yeah, we was running it up at the end of the year. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of wanna like do that again, bro. That shit was fun, bro. Like, kind of, I call it the prank era because we did a lot of pranks in that in that time span, like a lot. One of my favorite videos, well, one of my most popular ones was the Riz, the, the little Riz shit I made, bro. Y'all remember that? Then I'll just say with a very, you know, not, a, I would say commanding, but you know, a tone where she can hear you, and I'll basically say, "Hey, how's it going, I'm Lloyd?" Or, "Hey, how's it going? What are you working on?" What's your name? 
Ruby. Nice to meet you. I'm, I'm Jeremiah. Nice to meet you. Nice to what, meet what you working on? Uh, hold on, give me a second. I, hold on. I forgot something. I forgot. Hold on. Something like that. I'll just say something. Say anything. Okay. So typically, what I'll do is if she looks up and she's just like, "Oh, I'm good." Huh? Is that, are you watching a video? No, no. It's about 1.9k. Nothing too crazy. It did very. It blew up on TikTok. It blew up on uh, Instagram. People loved it. Uh, it was something way different than like what usually what I usually do. Nobody's really ever done that. Like I've seen it. I seen it one time, so I took it and it blew up, bro. March 30th is when we went to this spot right here, where I'm at, NYC. We took a trip to NYC, bro. That's, that, ooh, ooh. that's when I go back. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Nothing really crazy happened on that trip. Bro. I'm not gonna lie. It was just a, it was a calm little, you know what I mean? April, April, April. Huh? That month. April was that month. April was the month that really took my channel to a whole nother fucking level, bro. A whole nother level, bro. April 14th, guys. I uploaded this one short. Nah, they got the... They got the minkies out. <laughs> so basically, my whole mindset throughout the year was I was just posting shorts. Like, posting shorts. Like, like I was throwing shorts out my ass, bro. I'm talking about, like, nine shorts a day because me and Ricky were challenging each other. I wanted to have more videos than this nigga. So he kept uploading shorts and I kept uploading shorts. So I was grabbing everything. I'm talking about shit from my Snapchat memories, nigga. Everything. I'm just throwing them out there on my YouTube channel. Just a random ass fucking video I throw out there. Then it starts getting traction. It's like 10K. I was like, I got that before. Then it starts getting like 20K, 30K, 40K. I uploaded that short in April 14th. May 16th, I had 5,000 subscribers. I can't really remember the time period, but I just know I was growing crazy. I had 2,000. I was jumping like I had 2k then I had 3k then I had 4k then I had 5k I'm telling y'all I was hitting like I was hitting these milestones every single day bro I'm going through my Instagram right now and I'm gonna show you I would post every time I hit another milestone May 8th 2,000 subscribers May 12th 3,000 subscribers May 14th 4,000 subscribers May 15th 5,000 subscribers May 16th 6,000 subscribers May 17th 7,000 May 19th 8,000 May 21st 9,000 May 23rd 10,000 May 27th, 12,000. June 15th, I had 18,000. June 19th, I had 20,000. Nah, I was really just getting subs out my ass, bro. July 31st, I had 29,000. August 4th, I had 30,000. Right now, I'm at 31,000. So, that being said, we have a lot more work to be done, bro. It's nowhere near close. For 2024, it's to hit 100K. I'm going for the big 100K. I'm going for the plaque. I've been, I've been dreaming about the like april 16th i met she's a holic i don't why pulled up we talked to him bro and he was actually cool she's actually mad cool bro she's just a cool ass nigga bro i fuck with him we had a cool little conversation bro i don't really remember the conversation but he was just like on some youtube shit you know telling us about the come up story and all that took our snaps he said uh hey yo i have my snap i was like i right, worried i'm like I'm thinking, you know what I'm saying? He's just about to give it, he's just about to give us a snack. He's not, he's not gonna add us back. We actually added us back. We added me back, I think. I don't know if he added Ricky, but he added me back. That nigga be viewing my story, bro. We talking here and there, so that nigga's mad cool, bro. Shout out Cheese Holly, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, where am I? Let's skip over a trip to PR, yo. So June 11th, bro. We me, the guys, you know what I'm saying? We took the trip to PR, bro. I love PR, but I was such a member. Like it's so crazy, bro. It felt like yesterday, but it's been like six, it's been six months, bro. Based this month since we've been to PR, bro. I only made two videos. I only got two videos out of that trip, but our mindset, honestly, bro, we were just kind of more there to have a good time more than to record. Our mindset wasn't really, you know. So, funny fact about the PR trip was I went to PR in March. That was my first time in Puerto Rico since I was like a baby. I'm in a beach, I go Instagram live, and then Eli's like, yo, bro, invite everybody to the live. So everybody joins the live, bro. And everybody's like, yo, bro, let's fucking go in June, bro. Like, let's go for Eli's birthday, da 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 I'm thinking niggas is trolling, bro. Because usually niggas be trolling, bro. I can't lie. Nah, bro. Like, if that happened, the time came, bro. Eli's birthday came. And we was lit. Only motherfucker that didn't go, bro. From the whole NOK. Niggas are told me. <laughs> nah, yo, stop capping. Bring up the footage right now. This nigga's like... I'm not going because in August, bro, I'm going to CV, bro, and this, this, that, <laughs> da, 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 da. No one's so like, gonna be there. Though. Bro, it's smooth, bro. It's smooth, bro. Conversation over. But yeah, that's the fun fact about PR trip. PR was a movie, man. I met a lot of people. 
Um, I tried to- Got a whole close by. to my heart. Bro, there was like a lot of unexpected things happened in PR for me, bro. Some good, some bad. Guys, I got skin for $200 in PR. I don't really want to talk about that. It's a long story. I met a, little, I met a lot of great people in PR, bro. Did I meet any girls in PR, guys? Mm. Shit. All right, but after PR, though, I'm not gonna lie, my summer was kind of bad, bro. I'm gonna be real chill, bro. My summer was kind of bad. Like, mentally. Mentally, my summer was... Down the drain, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Consistency-wise, bro, after PR, though, nigga, I did not drop a fucking... Bro, on, even after... Even when we came back from PR, the PR vlogs didn't drop for a good fucking month, bro. I was out of it, bro. I was so out of it, nigga. And then after the PR vlogs, I dropped, like, one fucking... What was the Summer Olympics, bro? It flopped. I don't really care about the views, bro. It's just the consistency, bro. The consistency was not there at all, bro. Like, at all, nigga. And it was bad, bro. But I was like, eh, I'm gonna come back for this. I'm gonna come back for this. I'm gonna come back stronger. And that's when I decided to go to LA. Once October hit. It was, well, LA was very last minute. Like, that's why you didn't see, that's why you didn't really see Mika there. That's why you didn't, you know what I'm saying, see other people there. Cause it was a very last minute trip, nigga. It was me, me and Eli were really sitting in the truck one night, bro. We was just chilling, bro. And this nigga was just like, we was just talking about we wanna go somewhere, nigga. Like, we just wanna go, for, we just wanna fucking go um, somewhere. I just wanna say, the trip was one of my ideas, by the way. Like, what? Yeah. When did you come up with that idea? That trip was supposed to happen in December. But then Eli bedazzled me out of nowhere. It was like, yo, bro, we're going next week. I'm like, bro, what do you mean? Nigga, I got school. I'm in school, bro. How the fuck am I supposed to go next week? Yeah, I should have went, honestly. I should have just fucking left school, nigga. I had a fun time in LA. I could talk about LA all day, but we're not gonna do that. LA was, psh, yeah, nigga, I have videos to back it up, bro. LA was amazing, bro. Really show me, bro. Like, I think that's what really opened my eyes. And the mindset that I have right now, bro, started really with LA, bro. Like, just motivated me so much. I met a lot of people, like, great people out there that motivated the hell out of me, bro. Like, it was like, just random ass people that just like, like, I don't know. I feel like whenever we go places, people can feel our energy and they can just, I don't know. I just feel like we walk around and we have like a, a lot of people come up to us and tell us about like how like for some reason a lot of people see tend to believe in us like they come in to talk about how how much potential they see in us this is the third i'm like all right i'll take it bro saying the viral clip the viral clip is that ice spice yeah ice spice ice spice come here you have a roommate yes she's my what's one one <laughs> well, come here come here quick come here what's one bad thing what's one bad thing about your roommate one bad thing about my roommate one, one i don't know thing. i love her she's great it's not just Cause she's right there. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Yes, I'm sure. Oh! Oh, trying to come up. I dropped down and I came up. I dropped down then I. Eli told me it was gonna go viral. I remember him telling me that. He was like, literally when we got back from the hotel after that, he was telling me he was like, yeah, bro, this that that clip could go viral. I thought, I thought it was gonna go viral because Ice Spice, but it, it went viral because the other girl, bro, nigga. Apparently she looked like Playboy Cardi, bro. <laughs> Like play Bacardi with the face paint. I didn't. I honestly didn't look at it like that when I first when I first posted it. Like people in the comments started saying, "What do you call it? Like play Bacardi? Like close enough? Drop the album? This is not play." So I, you know what I'm saying? So I post. I reposted it again, but I put the caption, "This is not play Bacardi," and it took off, nigga. I'm talking about all these people started reposting my shit. Someone reposted my shit, and his shit with like 400k likes. My clip it has 400k likes on someone else's account on TikTok, and on Instagram it has 400k likes on someone else's account too. Fucking absurd. I finally got my shit to my shit's at 200k on my personal account on TikTok right now. It's at like 150k on IG on my personal account. So the clip is just a really good clip. Drewski even fucking posted it, bro. Could have been records, bro. Posted that shit on their fucking thing. They took it down after like two hours, though. I'm. I think I know why. I don't. I honestly don't know why I took it down, but he, they posted me, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's a fucking crazy achievement, bro. I was really scrolling on my feed, bro, just going about my day, and I see myself on Could Have Been Records. I'm like, huh? I was like, <clears throat> yeah, that's crazy, bro. So I achieved a lot this year, bro. The stats. Oh my God. Let's look at the fucking stats, bro. Let's look at the stats for this year, bro. Stats are crazy, guys. Stats are crazy. Prepare yourselves, bro, because I really went crazy. Whew. <laughs> So in the year of 2023, this year, I gained 30,000 subscribers. Mm. Clap that up, clap that up, clap that up. I uploaded 541 times. 541 uploads, y'all, that's a lot. 14 million fucking views, bro. 14.2 to be exact, bro. 14 million views, bro. No words, nigga, I have 14 million views. 
in one year, bro. It's nowhere as crazy as this year's about to be, bro. I don't know if y'all believe in angel numbers, bro. But I've had my... Mika even knows. I told Mika about this a lot. I've told Mika about this a bunch of times, bro. I have an angel number, and it's 24. My angel number is 24, and I say that because, right? Ever since, I could... I think early 2022, bro, I would look at the clock randomly, and I would see 24 every time. Every time. Bro, it's crazy. Like I don't believe in stuff like that, if I'm being real. But it's it's it talks to me too much, bro. It talks to me too much, bro. My birthday, June 24th, 2004. I just had a baby brother that was born last year. His birthday, September 24th. So me and my brother, we both have the same birthday. It's just fucking crazy. Which is my 24 number I'm telling y'all about, bro. It's, oh my god. It's so much more in depth, bro. I can talk about. Bro, y'all don't understand, bro. I look at the clock every day and I just see 24, almost at least like one time a day, bro. It's crazy, like multiple times a day, most of the time, bro. Like, I don't know. I never really understood why, bro. So I remember I looked up the meaning, and the meaning it was just like it felt like the message that it was that it was telling me was like kind of on like what I'm trying to do. Like it was kind of on my. It felt like it was towards me. Basically, what I'm trying to fucking say. I feel like God's talking to me, bro. That's long story short. God is talking to me, bro. I'm not sugarcoating this shit no more. No, God is talking to me, bro. Through this 24 fucking number, bro. I'm not. I don't care what nobody fucking says. There's nobody that's gonna tell me that I'm crazy, bro. I know what I'm. I know what I'm seeing, bro. I know what I'm seeing, bro. God is talking to me through this 24 number, bro. It's it's not a coincidence, bro. I see this number too much, bro. Too much. The new the numberology. You put in hard work on a regular basis, and you will reach your end goal. If you have hope in, for good news, and this number is pure gold. This number can also indicate at times the positive changes coming your way. I remember when I was seeing it the most. That's why I needed it the most on bureau. That's why I needed it the most. Yapping. Nigga, you was yapping earlier for like 40 <laughs> minutes, nigga. Just yapping. My goals for 2024, bro. Crazy, cause 2024, maybe that's a sign, bro. That's a, I think that's the sign, bro. 2024, 24 number means that 2024 is the year that's going to happen for me. It's going to be the year that's gonna happen for me. I think that's what it means, y'all. And we're gonna make, if that's not what it means, we're gonna make it to be, you know what I'm saying? That's that's what it's gonna look like. Cause the work I'm about to put in this year, it's gonna make it look like it was destined all along, bro. God is writing my story perfectly right now, bro. Everything in my life has come to this point, bro. I could be more grateful, bro. You gotta pray every day too. Keep keep God in your life, fuck nigga. Keep God in your life, bro. Good things will happen, bro. I promise you, good things will happen, bro. It's like the most important part, bro. 30 days, I gotta upload every day in the month of January, bro. You know niggas be doing <laughs> vlogmas, but I'm trying to start off the new year, right, bro? And I'm trying to challenge myself to do the possible, bro. I'm trying to upload 30 days in the year, in the month of January, bro. It's gonna be hard. I feel like, bro, I feel like it's gonna be a little harder than I think it is, bro. But it's. It's manageable. As long as it's manageable, then I could do it. You know what I'm saying? It's just gotta take a lot of, I mean, but that being said, bro, January 1st, the first upload of the year, man, we starting off strong.